Hi, Kathy here from Kathy's Tea Creations with the Creative Notions unboxing. So let uh, me show you. This is so cute. This is the bag, and it's bees. And those are the great big huge. They look like the great big huge bumblebees, not the regular bees. All right, so we're gonna pull it out here. Get the, everything out of the bag. All right. A little bit squashed up here. It says attention. Due to shipping delays, we will be having our giveaway on Friday, August 25th at 3 p.m. You might want to check that out. This is the May box. It's the Sunflower Suite. Okay, and it is by Lisa Audit for Wilmington Hat Prints. And the winners, let me show you the winners here. There's the winners. This is really doing a good job of focusing today. And of course, you know, she apologizes for the lateness of the bag, but you know what? It doesn't make any difference. Eventually the bag gets to you. I know some people get upset because they're on a timeline and all that, but I'm not. So, okay, let's see what we have. All right, so let's begin. Let me take this out because I don't want to have the glare on the, the bags. So we have the Sunflower Quilt and Table Runner. That's what that looks like. Here's the Table Runner. All right. It looks like it's got 12 pages. Let me make sure. Yep. Right there shows you 12 pages, so. Make sure you got all 12 of your pages. Okay. I got a sneeze coming on. Oh my goodness. Hold on one Go. second. Ooh, we didn't want that one on camera. <laughs> okay. We have easy chicken chili. Huh. That's our recipe this month. Oh, we have some embroidered bee borders. So here are five, four and a half by 41 inch. Here's an example of how you're going to use it, like that. That was pretty nice. Oh, that is very, very pretty. Little gingham. Oh, no, it's actually, it's little polka dots. So it's white polka dots on yellow backing there. Okay, we have... Ooh, mine are all... This is when you want to use your iron, and you can, to iron out your pattern pieces. So we have Daisy Roundabout Table Topper. I'm trying to split my pages here. It doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. There you go. And then there are five, let me see. Six front and back sheets on that. And then we have the subscriber blog of the month. Completion is called Daisy Roundabout by Angela Stoutinger. She is a busy girl. Look how pretty that is. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, and now there's some things wrapped in the fabric. So let me unwrap the fabric. Okay, we have a chapstick. Oh, that's cute. The little bees on it. It says, you are the bomb. B-A-L-M. That's cute. And then we have, oh, we have some little hexagon set. And I'm gonna take it out of the package for you. Here we go. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is two and a half inch. We have a three and a half inch. We have a four and a half. Did I say three and a half just a minute ago? Yeah, I did, okay. And then, now those are triangle hexagons, okay, due to their shape. And then we have actual hexagon, a three and a half, right here, and a four and a half, right there, okay. And that's the shape that is on this, in case you didn't see it, let me show you again. This right here. 
That's the shape that they made there. And here's your rose. That'll give you a better example of it. See that? Okay. Now I'm trying to figure out what is this? Oh, this is to hold it. Let's see. So you open this up. Let's see if I can open it. There you go. You open this up and you hang them on there and then you lock it into place. And they're all on here, just like they were for the circles. Same thing. And now let's take a look at this fabulous fabric that she's given us here. Oh, wait a minute, more stuff. Okay, hold on. As soon as I open up the fabric, we have a pair of Creative Notion scissors. Let me take them out of here so you can see them. See the shape of those? Those are for snipping, and those are really neat. Oh, look, they got, I'm trying to think, what do they have on them? They have Creative Notions written on them. How about that? Now, these are very good, because when you're, let's say that here's your quilt, and then you need to snip something right here, instead of going straight across, you can go like this, and you won't have any fear of clipping your fabric, which I have done that before, believe it or not. And then I went and got a, a less bent snips, but these are really, really good. And of course they're yellow to match the bees, which I think is adorable. All right, let's check out our fabric here. Absolutely gorgeous. There is the yellow. That looks like the inside of a sunflower. And here is blue. And then we have blue polka dots on yellow. That's pretty neat looking. That, that would be a nice background fabric on a quilt. Here is some blue. Oh, wait a minute. Found some more stuff. Looks like, I think, let me make sure if it is what I think it is. So it must be extra. I don't see it listed here. But this is honey. Little tubes of honey. There we go. That was in the fabric too. I gotta just drop my fabric down here. And there we have some blue gingham. Oh, here's something interesting. Look at that. Look at the stripes in that. Oh, here's some bicycle. Different bicycles with the flowers up in the basket. Here is some bees bozing around and then we have some real pretty glue here and i will lay it out here so you can all see it i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna take these hexagons and these little triangle hexagons i'm gonna take them out of the package so you can see them better and i'll lay them down here for you all right all right so i've laid it out so you can see it now, if you do put an iron to your um, pattern there, make sure that you put something over the top so that the ink doesn't bleed. Because if that ink that's on there gets hot, it will uh, bleed and smear, okay? And now, these little curved scissors, these are considered buck, buck, oh my goodness, duck bill scissors. <laughs> And you may have another pair that are a little bit different, but I call these uh, Duckville Snippets is what I call them. But they are scissors. And I wanna thank Vicki and all her crew. This is a wonderful, wonderful box. I really like this blue and yellow together. It really is nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, th she did have a little bit of uh, comment here on the borders. So this is the borders right here with the embroidery on it. And she said that these two were made for the Sunfire Quilt Project, but if you want to use them for something else, you can. So you can cut them up and make them smaller if you want it to block to in blocks for patchwork or zipper pouches or something like that. And because of the way the embroidery is uh, sometimes on here, it's pulled in the fabric slightly. So remember when you um, make your 
you try to square up your fabric and you pull it from the one corner from the left and one on the on the right you grab it at each end and pull a little bit you can do that with here because she's given enough room between the embroider itself and the corner so there's not just a quarter inch okay that's at least a half inch and you can tell that by looking at it all right thank you very key very much for this box and i want to give everybody a shout out for watching my YouTube videos and welcome to all my new subscribers and we're gonna go ahead and she also made a comment that the block of the month uh, this year's block of the month is gonna feature barn blocks I know a lot of you like barn blocks so they're gonna start with the July box and if you want to be in the contest you need to finish up your UFOs it doesn't make any difference which ones they are okay and um, also, don't forget, you want to join the Facebook for Creative Notions and post all your finishes and tag them. You're going to do hashtag CNQS underscore UFO. This way they're going to be able to add you to the drawing, okay? Because everybody gets to enter, but you're going to have to put your uh, a picture up there on the website. Or not the website, I'm sorry, on the Facebook. All right, that's it for now. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.